Medicare Advantage is the name of what's actually Part C of the Medicare program, which is a set of private insurance plans that offer Medicare coverage through private insurance policies. Um, this notion began in the 1990s with the idea that private insurance could provide the same coverage as the public Medicare program, what we call the traditional Medicare program, less expensively and that we should try that and if we could save money that would be a better way to offer Medicare. What, what was discovered was that while many many plans came into the Medicare market in the 1990s they couldn't provide Medicare coverage less expensively than the public program and so many of them left the market. Instead of deciding that this experiment failed and that we should just put all our energy into the public program which was more cost efficient, cost less than the private plans. What happened was in 2003 Congress passed a law that actually decided well we'll we'll pay them more in order to bring the private plans back into the system. So that's what's happened. Instead of paying the private plans less money than it costs to provide the same coverage under the public Medicare program or the same amount of money. We've paid them on average up to 14 percent more than coverage, similar coverage under the traditional Medicare program. And what you may have heard about uh, with regard to cuts, so-called cuts to this program in the Affordable Care Act um, are actually, is actually just an effort to bring those private plan expenses and payments more in line with what we pay in the traditional program so that taxpayers and the vast majority of Medicare beneficiaries who are in the traditional program and not in private plans will not pay more than is necessary. The Congressional Budget Office, a bipartisan um, entity, well, nonpartisan entity, says that it's about $150 billion over 10 years. That's real money. And it doesn't gain us anything more than the public program can provide for less. So that's uh, why it doesn't make any sense from our point of view to pay private plans more than public Medicare. And we very much hope that you'll join us in encouraging Congress and all lawmakers to vote for full and fair public Medicare program and allow only those private plans to stay in the market that want to do it at the same price as, the, as we pay for the public Medicare program.